My name is Laura Wheeler and I'm a master's student in systems and control engineering and I got involved with this, um, the Control and Energy System Center Research Group because I'd taken a couple classes involving control and wind energy with my advisor, Dr. Garcia Sanz. So my research looks at pitch control for wind turbines and pitch control is basically saying you've got the wind turbine running, generating power and at a certain wind speed it is generating the maximum amount of power that the wind turbine can generate and so you want to keep the rotor spinning at a constant speed to maintain that rated you know, maximum generation and so you're adjusting the angle of the blades to keep the rotor spinning at the constant speed and so in my research I design a collective pitch controller which adjusts the angle of all three blades at the same time and then also an individual pitch controller which adjusts the angles of each blade um, separately and the end goal of the individual pitch controller is to reduce the loads on the wind turbine. More reducing the load means that you don't have to do as much maintenance on the wind turbines and that they have a longer lifetime which is important because as wind turbines are getting bigger they're being put in more remote locations and so it's harder to go out in the middle of the ocean or go into the mountains and do maintenance on them and also if you can decrease the cost of maintenance and you can increase how long the wind turbine lasts, you can decrease the cost of wind energy. One of the main challenges is figuring out how to simulate the wind turbine because the wind turbine is a pretty complex system. We were able to use a program from the National Renewable Energies Laboratory to um, simulate a reference turbine, a five megawatt reference turbine that's based on real world turbines. Uh, well, then one of the next steps would be to translate this from a computer simulation to a model-sized wind turbine and run simulations with that.